Here we have this car speaker, an Oxford one. This came from a Jeep Wrangler from the year 2000. It is the front speakers, not the soundbar speakers, the ones in the front of the deck. Now, I'm using a different amplifier this time because, unfortunately, no, this one's not dead. It, any speaker that is not 8 ohms, it completely freaks out on. It used to work just fine, but it'll just distort, clip, and then go to protection mode. So I'm going to be using a different app for testing speakers from now on. And I lost my terminal space for the moment. I'm just using a little crappy wire. So I can't really move the speaker around at all, but here is the song. The no mana song. Can't if you can't tell already, this was requested by Cyro. So yeah, here we go. Amp sounds pretty good.
I'm surprised that didn't come hooked. That's why you shouldn't have. And this is the magnet. It's very hard to see, tell what it says on it, but if you can read it, but you can't really read it on the scammer. It says Oxford, made in the USA. Some numbers right here. I can, yeah, seven one two seven three six. Chrysler logo. No specs on this thing. Not even the ohms. I'm guessing it's 16 ohms, which explains why that freaked out on it. It's a good speaker. It's good sounding and nice excursion, but the wizard cone is pretty big. Nice surround. Overall, very good. It's overall good sound, but it bottoms out a little bit, and it does have that wizard cone effect where the unwanted mod modulation. Check out the basket design on this. Dotty hard to see but boy school is a decent size too hope you guys enjoy like comment and subscribe for more and by the way electrical has been fixed in this room so i now have a proper lighting source so fuck that lamp hope you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe for more